And with the Jayhawks heading into the game, you're going to see their logo a lot more. So for you longtime fans, you know this isn't the first Jayhawk logo, right? But as our Dan Cohen reports, the icon's history is deeper than you think. He shares how the Jayhawk found its first set of wings. So Maytag was one of our biggest customers. When they're not designing and manufacturing custom retail displays at Sandy Incorporated in Kansas City, they're supporting Kansas hoops. The Jayhawk is here, there, and here too. Well, that's one of the reasons I came to work here and I found out that uh, Hal was the creator of the uh, Kansas logo. That's Hal Sandy. Wow. And of course, there's a Jayhawk mm -hmm. in his front pocket. Hal Sandy, founder of Sandy Incorporated in 1952. And six years prior... He was a student at KU, and then in 1946, he created as they call it, the Smiling Jayhawk. KU's first Jayhawk appeared in 1912, followed by three different Jayhawks in the 1920s. The Angry Jayhawk appeared in 1941 during World War II, and then Hal Sandy's design in 1946. There was a contest to kind of redesign the, the, the Jayhawk, and he submitted it, and I, and I believe he won $50 for it. $50, and seven decades later, the Smiling Jayhawk has been through one change, the KU font on its chest. I'm I'm very pleased, Hal said at the time, this little guy is still working for the university. He was a creative genius, and I, I like to think that we still are very creative, and that's what's kept me here all these years. Hal Sandy died in 2017, but his is a proud company with a proud well, staff. Hal, it's pretty special, and since I'm a graduate of KU, I really enjoy it. That's a testament to Hal, um, to be honest with you. Uh, not a lot of businesses. Um, small business can stand that test of time. A company and a logo by Hal Sandy, now a lasting Jayhawks legacy here at home and beyond. In Kansas City, Dan Cohen, KSHB 41 News.